It's a bad day for Ford. They just got fined $165 million for not recalling a backup camera in a timely manner. Yeah, this one's going to hurt. And we already know Ford as the recall king, so it kind of fits right in because we know the quality's not that high, and we know they always win. They beat every other manufacturer for the most recalls, and of course, they don't fix it in a timely manner. Why? Because the executives don't want to spend any money. They want to save, save, save as much as they can. And here you go. It's going to bite them now. One hundred and sixty. $65 million. For what I'm seeing, it's the second largest penalty ever paid out is what I'm seeing. So, wow, that's going to hurt big time for Ford. And, hey, if you break the rules, this is what happens. If you don't do things the right way, you're going to end up paying in the long run. So just do things the right way the first time. But, honestly, I don't even think Ford's – this is not even Ford's biggest issue. They have to deal with their dealerships loaded with 23 F-150s, 24s. They have no 25s, and we're a month away from 2025. And I, I see a lot of people say, okay, it's you know we're still in 24. What's the big deal? Well, all the other manufacturers have their 25. 1500 trucks out and normally manufacturers are ahead of the schedule on that when you're a month away from 25 most of the trucks are on the lot are going to be 25s but not with ford so they're really having a big inventory issue and then let's not even get into the ev stuff 5.5 billion dollars basically is what they're tracking to lose this year on electric vehicles that's a bad situation yeah the company's making money overall but they lose such a big portion over here in the electric vehicle segment because they sell these electric vehicles that should cost if they want to sell them and make a profit uh, ford lightning would be like two hundred and fifty three hundred thousand dollars ford loses like 40 grand per lightning they sell it's a terrible situation for ford to be in the dealers can't make no money on them and it's just bad all the way around but hey i guess some people are still buying them because sales are up for the lightning this year but still not that many sales overall and you just have these dealers loaded with all this inventory and it's so overpriced f-150s over a hundred grand who in the world thought of that it's not a smart idea and Again, quality. They're known to be the recall king, and here you go. They just play it to a civil penalty, $165 million, for not doing a recall in a timely manner for a backup camera. Like, come on, guys. You guys could have done this in a timely manner and taken care of it, and now you're having to really pay the price. So that's the thing. These executives at these auto companies almost, I mean, there's no almost. They do live in a completely different world because they don't even know what their consumer wants, what they need. Because the consumer doesn't want a $124,000 F-150, but then that's what you're offering. And yeah, you offer affordable pickup trucks, but how you do your dealer allocations is dealerships don't want to order the lower-end trucks. They just don't, and there's not that many out there at the end of the day. So yeah, there are somewhat affordable trucks out there, kind of, sort of, but still, the MSRPs have been increased so much. But even if you get a base, base model, any brand, but a base model F-150, it's so hard to find. You can't find a base model four-wheel drive F-150 on the lot. No dealer orders that. It just is what it is. They'd rather buy the 70K F-150 because every other Ford dealership is and make a whole lot more selling that Ford. And it's better for the dealership in their eyes because they make more money. But now it's starting to bite them because, oh, crap, we can't sell these 70K trucks. No one wants to buy them because it's not realistic people don't buy 70 80 90 thousand dollar f-150s that's just not normal there's no way to put it there, there's no way 50 was a lot now 70 80 it is insane and that's even on the lower i've seen literally 124,000 for an f-150 119,000 for an f-250 so we've seen crazy prices on this channel but combined with ford having to deal with the fine not recalling in time this is kind of a wake-up call for the auto manufacturers to hey Take care of your issues. If you made a mistake, take care of that stuff before it becomes a bigger issue and you actually get in some real trouble like Ford having to pay $165 million. So if you want to pay, you can you can do what you do, but you're going to have to pay a lot more in the long run. That's, that's what I think at the end of the day. So let me know what you think about what's going on with Ford. And let me know if you have a Ford. Have you had any issues? Because they are... I mean, technically, literally, the recall king, they beat every manufacturer pretty much every year back-to-back -back on the most recalls compared to any other manufacturer, so it's not a good thing, but hey, maybe they take care of their, you know, maybe some argue, well, they take care of their cars more, but not necessarily because normal, most every manufacturer, they only recall, obviously, if it's a safety, you know, that's the only time, and I guess his backup camera definitely was, 
and they just didn't do it in a timely manner. And I think now, you know, all back, all cars 2019 and on have to come with the backup camera. I know it's, it's part of the deal. So yeah, it's, it's quite unfortunate. And uh, yeah, prices are going up and up. You guys already know, but this $165 million civil penalty, I had to tell you guys about it. Wow. They're going to end up paying for this one, man. It's going to hurt pretty bad. And I'll see what these dealers do. Let's see if they start getting some 25s in. The only way they can get rid of these 24s and 23 F-150s is discounting them 30 grand, 40 grand, which I've never seen on an F-150 before. And that's that's what Ram's having to do. Go back a few videos. We had a Ram pickup truck that was $80,000 selling for $49,999 before even negotiating. So if Ford wants to compete, hey, they're going to have to discount big, big time. You're talking 20, 30, 40K off in F-150 if you want to sell this stuff because no one wants plastic crap and they're not going to overpay for it. It is what it is. It's supply and demand, and demand is drying out. Now you have the supply, but you don't have the demand. Hey, let me know what you think. Have a great day and stay blessed.